Yo Prestige fam, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Deuces! What is going on guys? It is your boy Nightly Power here bringing you back with another GTA 5 video. In today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the green duffel bag in GTA Online. So if you guys do happen to enjoy today's video, why not go ahead and hit that like button. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. To get the green duffel bag in GTA Online, we're going to have to go into director mode and freeze the Christmas mask. So the first step in any director mode glitch is the setup process. What you're going to need is a bird and you're going to need your online character. So from director mode, you want to go ahead and shortlist your bird and your online character. Once you have your bird and online character in your shortlist, all you want to do is back out of the director mode and start up a GTA online session. Once you get into GTA online, make your way over to the clothing store. Now you want to go ahead and select any standard outfit. Once you select any standard outfit, you want to go ahead and remove any accessories on the face and you want to go ahead and put on a parachute. Now make your way to the time trial. The time trial resets its location every week. Once you make your way over to the time trial, open up your interaction menu, go to parachute and turn on the parachute. Now the most important thing is to go into spawn location and set that to last location. If you don't have spawn location onto last location, you're going to mess up the glitch. So this is the most important part of the glitch. Once that is all set and done, into the time trial. Now from the time trial, you want to push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. Now when you return into story mode, select director mode and go into your shortlist. And in your shortlist, you should have your bird and your online character. Now from here, you want to scroll through your bird and your online character. And what you should notice, the bird will duplicate. What you're going to need is your online character to be on the haystack. So what you want to do is scroll through your online character and the bird for 25 minutes until your character gets onto the haystack. Once you get your online character onto the haystack, back out, go to actors and select any categories. What you should notice is the modded outfits will start appearing as you scroll down the character list. If the character changes back into default director mode outfits, go back into your short list and start scrolling through your bird and your online character. This happens when your bird hasn't fully been duplicated. You're going to need to make sure the bird is fully duplicated because if you're going to freeze the Christmas mask onto any of the outfits, you're going to be switching between the actors and your short list. And if the outfits change back into default director mode outfits, you're going to reset the whole glitch. Once you are fully confident that the birds are fully duplicated, go into actors, now go into any of the categories and scroll through the character list. If the outfits don't change back into default director mode outfits, you can go ahead with the next step. What you want to do is scroll through the outfits and you want to go ahead and find three outfits with a Christmas mask and you want to go ahead and shortlist those outfits. So in your shortlist, you should have those three Christmas mask outfits. So in the process of shortlisting the Christmas mask outfits, you're going to be deleting your bird and your online character from the shortlist. So in your shortlist, you should have the outfits with the Christmas mask. This is the part where you're going to freeze the Christmas mask. So what you're going to do is go into your shortlist and scroll through the outfits. Now you want to go ahead and make the game lag. This is what's going to transfer your Christmas mask onto the outfits. So for example, what you're going to do is scroll through the outfits while pressing X to change your appearance. And at the same time, you want to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out of your character. This will make the game lag and this will potentially give you the Christmas mask on your outfits. To get the duffel bag in GTA Online, you're going to need to freeze the elf mask or the unicorn mask. These are the only mask that will work with this glitch. So as you guys can see in this clip, I managed to freeze the racing glove onto the outfits.
once again to freeze the christmas mask onto any outfit you want to go ahead and shortlist a bunch of christmas mask outfits now go into your shortlist scroll through your shortlist while pressing x to switch your appearance zoom in and zoom out to make your game lag then back out go into actors and start switching the outfits you'll know that you have the christmas mask frozen on the outfit if your christmas mask will stick on every outfit that you switch to Now as you guys can see, I managed to freeze the Christmas mask onto the outfit, so every time I change the character's appearance, the Christmas mask will transfer onto a different outfit. So after you manage to freeze the Christmas mask onto the outfit, go ahead and look for an outfit with the duffel bag. The different types of duffel bag you can get from this is the black open, the black close, the green open, and the green close. If you do happen to transfer the black closed duffel bag, you won't be able to switch your outfits in GTA Online. To switch your outfits, you would have to remove your duffel bag. Once you have found an outfit with the green duffel bag, go ahead and shortlist it. Now we have to get into GTA Online to do the setup process there. So if you want to get an outfit from director mode, this is your chance. To save an outfit in director mode, go into your shortlist, select the outfit you want to save. Now check the outfit for any blacklist components like the beast hands or any of the Christmas accessories other than the Christmas mask. Once that is done, push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. Now in story mode, you should have the outfit and from here, all you want to do is start up an invite only session. Now if everything was done correctly, when you load up into GTA Online, you'll have the outfit. From here, all you have to do is go to the clothing store and save your outfit. Once you have loaded into GTA Online, make your way over to the clothing store. Now, you want to go ahead and select any standard outfit. Once you have selected any standard outfit, you want to remove any accessories on the face and you want to go ahead and save the outfit. Now, make your way over to ammunition. Go to parachutes, go to parachute bag and select the Israel parachute bag. Once you have that purchase, back out, go into your interaction menu, put on the Israel parachute bag. Now you don't have to save this outfit. Once you have that completed, you want to make your way over to this parachute job in the city. This parachute job is located near the Los Santos Customs. Once you have made your way over to the parachute job, you want to go ahead and enter the blue circle and start the mission. Before you start the mission, you want to make sure that you're host of the game. When you spawn into the job, you want to jump out of the helicopter and fly all the way to the ground, but don't worry about hitting the checkpoints. Once you get near the ground, you want to back out through your phone. When you spawn into the lobby, open up your weapon wheel, and if everything was done correctly, you should have two parachute bags. From here, register yourself as a CEO and call in a buzzard. Get into the buzzard, fly high up in the air, and then jump out. Now you want to fly to the ground, and right before you hit the ground, you want to have your interaction menu ready to switch to the standard outfit. Now as soon as your character drops the parachute bag on the ground, switch to the standard outfit. Now you want to wait for the orange circle. From here, make your way over to the time trial. Now into the time trial, push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get back to story mode, go ahead and enter director mode. Now go into your show list and make sure that you still have the green duffel bag outfit. What you should notice when scrolling through your shortlisted outfit is any of the outfit that didn't have the elf mask 
will have the mask removed when you come back to story mode this is what i told you earlier to use the elf mask when you're freezing the cruise mask because when you come back to story mode the outfit will change Now for this next step, you want to back out of your shore list, go to actors, go to animals, and you want to find the bird you were using at the start to duplicate with. Now you want to go ahead and select that bird, and once you're out of the casting trailer, you want to go ahead and find a moving vehicle. And you want to crash into the moving vehicle and get the wasted animation. Before you crash, you want to open up the interaction menu and hover over quick director mode. Now right before you crash, you want to start spamming A to quick director mode. Don't worry if you don't hit it on the first try. If you don't hit it on the first trial, it'll just put you back in the casting trailer and from there all you have to do is select the same bird and find a moving vehicle and crash into it. Before you crash, you want to start spamming quit direct mode and if everything was done correctly, you should be put in an infinite black loading screen. Now you want to wait until you get the wasted animation loading screen. And then from there, you'll be put into a second black infinite loading screen from here you want to open up the interaction menu you will hear a click push up on the d-pad one time and press a to select you'll get an error message accept that error message and i'll put you back into director mode now when you return back to direct mode all you have to do is go into your shortlist and select the outfit with the green duffel bag So now is the time to transfer the outfit to GTA Online. So when you select the outfit, do one final inspection to see if there's any blacklisted components. From there, push down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. If everything was done correctly, you should have the outfit in story mode. Now from here, you want to start up an invite only session. Now when you get back to GTA Online, all you have to do is save the outfit and you're done. If you guys enjoyed the video, why not go ahead and smash that like button and as always, it's been your boy Nightly Power, see ya!